Nika and I will be your e-pedagog for the subject of science. Students, so today we are going to talk about some of these things that we have not seen and have seen. Students, they are very, very, very far away, but we can look at them by just looking at the sky. But there are also so many things that we know about but cannot look at. A few of the names are mentioned here such as the space, universe, the sun, planets, our stars and our solar system. Students, a few of these things we can see as we know sun is one of them. A few times on very rare days we are also able to see planets, then we do see stars and twinkling of stars, but we are not able to see space, universe and solar system. But they do exist students. Let us move forward in our chapter and find out so many facts about all of them. This is chapter number 11, Sunita in space. Straight from the heart. What do you think the earth looks like? Make a drawing of the earth in your notebook. On your drawing, show where you are. Take a look at your friend's drawings too. What is our earth really like? Zera and Shamir are playing with the globe. And while they play, they are talking to each other. So students, before moving on to the actual chapter, what you all can do is this fun activity of drawing the earth of how you feel like it is. So, bacho, ye kaisi bhi drawing ho sakti hai aapki apni imagination se. It could be of the color you feel, it could be of the color that it is actually of. You can also discuss this video with your friends. Zera and Shamir are involved in this conversation and they are also holding this spherical structure. So, let's look at their conversation and see what they are talking about. Zera. Do you know that Sunita Williams is visiting our school tomorrow? I have heard that she has spent more than six months in space. Shamir, looking at the globe, he says, Hmm, look, here is America, Africa. Hey, where is space? Uzera tells him, the sky, stars, sun and moon, they are all in space. Shamir, yes I know, Sunita Williams went in a spaceship. I saw on TV that she could see the earth from there. Uzera, yes, from there the earth looked like this globe. Shamir, if our earth looks like this globe, then where are we? Uzera takes a pen and places it on the globe just like it is shown in the picture. Uzera says, here we are and this is India. Shamir then says, if we were here like this, we would all fall off. I think we must be inside the globe. This is a very interesting conversation between two friends students. So Uzera shuru karti hai conversation by telling Shamir ki kal unke school mein kaun visit karne wala hai? Sunita Williams. I hope students, some of you must have been must have known this name. She was the woman who went in space as it is told in the conversation for around six months. But but jo, abhi humne baat ki ki space to humne dikhta hi nahi hai. Fir wo space mein kai kaise. To in bachyo ki conversation se humne ye bhi pata chala that she went with the help of a spaceship. Bachche aur bhi baate karte hain jaise they locate a few places like America, Africa but they also ask this very interesting question that where is space? When Shamir asks Uzera ki hum is globe par kaha hai, wo India ko mark karke kehti hai ki hum yaha hai. Par Shamir fir ek bohat interesting question poochte hai ki agar hum yaha hote, yani ki kisi bhi globe ke surface pe, to hum niche gir jate. To mujhe lagda hai, hum is badi globe, jo ki spherical model of earth hai, uske andar hai. Let us move forward and realize what is the truth. Uzera says, if we are inside, then where is the sky? The sun, the moon and the stars. We must be on the globe. And all the seas and ocean must also be on the globe. 
Shanmir he points towards the lower part of the globe and says, "You mean to say that no one stays here?" Uzera, people live here too. Brazil and Argentina are here. Shanmir says, "Are the people there standing upside down? Why don't these people fall off?" Uzera says, "Yes, it looks strange, isn't it?" and this blue part must be the sea why doesn't the sea water fall off so they try to locate ki bachcho unhe earth ke globe par kya kya milta hai they points out in a random direction and they find out ki do countries brazil and argentina hai but they are still indulged in this conversation ki agar hum andar rehte hote to hamara sky hamara space sun stars kahan hote aur agar hum surface pe rehte hain to hum girte kaise nahi उजेरा हमें ये भी बताती है कि जो भी ब्लू कावर्ड पार्ट है हमारे ग्लोब का हमारे अर्थ का दैट इज ऑल सी एंड ओशन यानी कि वाटर बॉडीज तो एंड में वो हमसे ये क्वेश्चन भी पूछते हैं कि अगर सीज ओशन सब कुछ अर्थ के सरफेस पर है तो वो सब गिरता कैसे नहीं है वट डू यू थिंक स्टूडेंट्स इफ द अर्थ इज राउंड लाइक अ ग्लोब हाउ इज इट दैट वी डू नॉट फॉलो so students i hope you must be having some understanding but let's discuss what's the correct answer here to bachcho hum kisi bhi earth kisi bhi globe kisi bhi jab cheez pe locate karte hain to hum uske andar locate nahi karte because all of us live on the surface of the earth but why do we not fall off the answer to this would be a very common an important concept ग्रेविटी ग्रेविटी वो कॉन्सेप्ट है वो फिनोमिना है बच्चों जिससे अर्थ हमें अपने सेंटर की तरफ अट्रैक्ट कर रही है इससे क्या होता है बच्चों हम हमेशा ग्राउंडेड रहते हैं ग्राउंड पे रहते हैं और इसी रीजन से हम लोग हवा में उड़ नहीं जाते तो ग्रेविटी इज द आंसर टू स्टूडेंट्स दैट वाई डोंट वी फॉलो ऑफ to the people in argentina stand upside down kyunki bachcho jaisa hum dekh sakte hain yahan pe argentina niche wale side par hai that is towards the south of the globe kya isse wo log niche nahi gir jate no students why this doesn't happen because jo yahan kisi bhi point pe koi bhi rehta hai all of us are attracted towards the center and they do not stand upside down because that is the location based on south of the earth so they live in the southern area but they do not stand upside down students because the earth is a still object not like a toy globe talking with sunita when sunita williams came to india thousands of children like uzera and shamir got a chance to meet her Sunita says that her friend Kalpana Chawla wanted to come to India and meet children. She came to India to fill, fulfill Kalpana's dream. So Sunita Williams jab yahan aayi unse bahut sare bacche mile and she also expressed ki kaise unki ek dear friend Kalpana Chawla yahan aana chahti thi aur sabse milna chahti thi. Let us look at Sunita's experience in living in space. We could not sit at one place. We kept floating in the spaceship from one end to another. Water too doesn't stay at one place. It floats around as blobs. To wash our face or hands, we had to catch these blobs and wet paper with them. We ate very differently there. The real fun was when all of us would float into the dining area of the spaceship and catch floating food packets. So, ये थोड़ा सा introduction है about their life in space कि बच्चों को कैसे कोई भी activity करते थे. One very important thing that we discussed about in the previous slide was gravity. तो बच्चों, since space पे gravity यानी वो force जो हमें surface की तरफ attract करता है present नहीं है, इसलिए हर कोई वहाँ पे फ्लोट करता रहता है जैसे कि सुनीता ने भी हमें बताया कैसे उनका खाना उनका पानी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स ऐसे जैसे आप पिक्चर्स में देख सकते हैं वैसे फ्लोट करता है वैसे ही उन्हें उसको कैच करके खाना पीना टू वॉश देम सेल्व टू टॉक एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस यूज टू हैपन बट वन फन एनिमेंट दैट शी मैंशंस हियर इज दैट हाउ दे यूज टू फ्लोट डेलीबरेटली इन द डाइनिंग एरिया 
विद एवरीबडी तो स्टूडेंट्स ये एक फन एलिमेंट भी हो सकता है फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस हु हैव हर्ड हर स्टोरी दैट स्पेस में जाकर ग्रेविटी नहीं होती अब वो एक बहुत ज़्यादा डिफरेंट लाइफ स्टाइल है बट इट इज़ ऑल्सो फन टू फ्लोट एवरीवेयर इट ऑलमोस्ट फील्स लाइक वी आर फ्लाइंग इन स्पेस देर इज नो यू नीड टू यूज अ कोम माई हेयर कैप स्टैंडिंग ऑल द टाइम इज इन दैट अमेजिंग स्टूडेंट्स कि आपको कंगी करने के लिए कोई वो ही नहीं होता जरूरत क्योंकि आपके हेयर पूरे टाइम खड़े रहते हैं नॉट बींग एबल टू वॉक वी हैड टू गेट यूज टू फ्लोटिंग अराउंड वी हैड टू लर्न टू डू सिंपल थिंग्स डिफरेंटली टू स्टे एट वन प्लेस वी हैड टू स्ट्रैप आर सर्व देर Papers also had to be stuck to the wall of the spaceship. It was a lot of fun living in space, but it was also difficult. तो वो अब हमें कुछ challenges के बारे में भी बताती हैं कि कैसे कोई भी चीज़ आपके control में नहीं होती है वहाँ पर आप walk नहीं कर सकते तो आपको floating, which is a different habit for us. क्योंकि हम earth पर all of us walk and run. We do not fly or float. जो कि स्पेसशिप में बिल्कुल भी नहीं था ड्यू टू एब्सेंस ऑफ ग्रेविटी वहाँ पर सिर्फ फ्लोटिंग अलाउड थी और इसी की वजह से उनकी सारी चीज़ें इवन इफ समथिंग एज स्मॉल एज द पेपर दे हैड टू स्टक इट ऑन द वॉल टू यूज इट एंड दैट इज व्हाट हर एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ लिविंग इन स्पेस इज Look at the photographs and write. Can you think where Sunita's hair is standing? Can you think, students? Because there is gravity. There is nothing pulling her hair down. That is why her hair, being so light, would always stand up. Look at Sunita's photographs and the dates written on each of them. Write what all is happening and when. So, students, if you look at Sunita's pictures and if you look at the dates, you can look. You can look at their journey of taking off on 9th of December 2006 then following on to her experiences of saying that our feet don't stay on the floor telling us that hamari feet ab floor par nahi hai where is the food flying away now these pictures tell us exactly how everything would be floating Look, my hair is standing, no problem while working. So all her hair are standing, and this is a very fascinating sight. Sunita outside the spaceship, really in space. Now this is how she really was in space. And students, what she is wearing is called a space suit. Why space suit is important? Because there is no oxygen in the space, and that is why we have to carry our own oxygen and have to attach ourselves to our space. सिप जिससे हम क्योंकि स्पेस का कोई एंड ही नहीं है इसलिए हम फ्लोट करते करते किसी ऐसी जगह ना पहुंच जाए जहां से वापस आना इंपॉसिबल हो लेट अस मेक आवर क्लासरूम्स अ स्पेसशिप क्लोज योर आईज इमेजिन दैट योर क्लास इज अ स्पेसशिप ज़ूम इन टेन मिनट्स यू हैव एंटर इन स्पेस योर स्पेसशिप इज नाउ गोइंग अराउंड द अर्थ नाउ से सो स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल कैन अटेम दिस एट योर होम विथ योर फ्रेंड्स विद योर रेलेटिव एंड कैन मेक योर ओन प्लेस अ स्पेसशिप एंड आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन वॉट हैपन टू योर हेयर वॉट हैपन टू योर फूड एंड सो ऑन ऑल ऑफ एस कैन एक्सपीरियंस सुनीताज एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम द स्टोरी वी स्टडीड एंड राइट आवर ओन आंसर्स Let's move forward to discussing something amazing here. On the earth when we throw something up it comes down. When we throw a ball up in the air it falls back. We are able to catch it on the earth we don't keep floating around. When we fill a glass or bucket with water it stays there. It doesn't float around in blobs as Sunita Williams says. It is something special about the earth that makes this happen. The earth pulls everything towards itself. तो जैसे कि बच्चों हम पिछले सेगमेंट में ये डिस्कस कर रहे थे फ्रॉम सुनीताज एक्सपीरियंस कि स्पेस में कैसे डिफरेंट है और अर्थ पे कैसे डिफरेंट है तो आई एम श्योर बच्चों जब भी हम कोई भी पेबल विच इज सो लाइट अ फेदर विच इज ऑल्सो वेरी लाइट और इवन इफ अ हैवी थिंग हम कोई भी चीज को ऊपर फेंकते हैं तो इट comes down towards our ground why that happens i hope you now know the answer students the answer is gravity and our gravitational force 
जो कि स्पेस में मिसिंग है इसीलिए बच्चों आप कोई भी हैवी से हैवी चीज़ या हल्की सी चीज़ या अगर हम भी कभी जंप करने की कोशिश करते हैं तो ऑल ऑफ एस कम डाउन टूवर्ड्स द सेंटर और आवर ग्राउंड दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रेविटी एंड अर्थ ग्रेविटेशनल पुल दैट इज कीपिंग अस ऑन द ग्राउंड Sunita Williams went 360 kilometers away from the earth in the spaceship think how far this would be find out which town or city is located about 360 kilometers away from where you live this is how far sunita went away from the earth can you now say why sunita's hair kept standing think why water flows downwards on any slope on mountains too water flows downwards not upwards to bachcho yahan pe hame sunita ke experience ke bare mein bataya gaya hai ki wo space mein earth se 360 kilometers dur tak gayi thi isn't that amazing students how you can judge this distance is what is mentioned here ki aap apne aas paas apne parents se pooch sakte hain you can also use internet to find out ki aap jahan rehte hain वहाँ से 360 सिक्सटी किलोमीटर्स दूर कौन सी जगह है उतना दूर हम इमेजिन कर पाएंगे कि सुनीता वेंट फ्रॉम अर्थ नाउ दे आस्क अस द वेरी सेम क्वेश्चन वी जस्ट डिस्कस कि क्या आप गेस कर सकते हैं वाई हर हेयर केप स्टैंडिंग बिकॉज ऑफ नो ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स एंड अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन हेयर इज आई आई एम श्योर यू ऑल मस्ट हैव सीन फ्लोइंग वाटर यानी बहता हुआ पानी कभी कभी हमने इमेजेस में कभी मूवीज़ में कभी रियल लाइफ में माउंटेन से झरने बहते हुए वाटरफॉल या कोई भी रिवर बहुत फ्रीक्वेंटली देखी होगी इफ नॉट यू ऑल कैन यूज इंटरनेट और आस्क योर पेरेंट्स टू हेल्प यू आउट विद दिस स्टूडेंट्स ऐसा क्यों होता है कि जो भी चीज़ ऊपर से आ रही होती है वो हमेशा नीचे ही आती है ऐसा तो कभी नहीं होता कि नीचे का पानी ऊपर बह रहा है This is why, because we just discussed about gravity. तो बच्चों gravity हर चीज को sky से earth पर लाने की कोशिश करती है क्योंकि ये हमें earth के center की तरफ खींच रही होती है So gravity is a not visible force, but all of us can feel it. It is abstract in nature, but I am sure students, all you have to do is take a jump and you will feel the gravity.